Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey, it's Alex Bennett, and this is The Ramble. Yep, this is The Ramble. This is the program that asks the musical question, why do I keep doing this? It's insane. But anyway, we'll be here until midnight uh, Eastern time, and uh, uh, as we do uh, at least once a week, we love to talk to a friend of ours who makes me uh, do a lot of talking. I love talking to Larry Bubbles Brown because Larry Bubbles Brown lets me talk. (laughs) <laughs> well, you've got much to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, 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 I don't have a lot to say. You know, I'm not that much, but I have enough to say. So, well, you have a vast range of interests that uh, most people don't. Well, d- what, what, to. what interests you these days? Anything in particular? Well, actually, it's something that we talked about a while back. I actually saw the. Uh, we were talking about Netflix the last show, and uh, at my sister's, I we, she said, "Oh, there's this interesting documentary about Hedy Lamar." Oh, that's so a great that documentary. And, yeah. Uh, yes, they had that thing about the uh, where she, inv- like you said, she invented this thing that could be responsible for uh, cell phones and no, all kinds it, of electronic. It's uh, not that it is responsible for cell phones. Cell phones exist because of it. You know. So. It was called. Uh, it was called. Skips. Skips. It was something that Skip. do the, about torpedoes and uh, skip tracing. I think was the skip term. Jump, skip, skip jumping or skip, skip tracing, skip. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. she was this hot genius. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and she she was a. In case people don't know, Hedy Lamar. I think we have we talked about this before. Yeah, that's why I watched this yeah. thing because you talked about it before, and uh, had uh, wow, it was amazing. Yeah, um, it, it, it's um, uh, how can I put it? She 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 invented um, she and Hen what was the name Henry Anfiel? Yeah, to, yeah, I think uh, Henry or I can't remember. He, maybe he had another first name. Uh, they she came up with what happened was is that with torpedoes. Um, when you would shoot a torpedo, was it was it tor- t- torpedoes? Yeah, it was a torpedo, and they sent off a signal. So, so if if let's say um, a sub wanted to deflect from the torpedo, they could see it on the sonar coming. Mm-hmm. And so, um, th- she came up with a method of skip jumping on signals or something so that a sub could not see this the, the torpedo coming if i remember correctly I th- right i think that was the the mm-hmm. reason for it and she came up with this invention that uh, that uh, avoided it she gave it to the government the government took it bought it from her took it from her uh, she was you know she was wanted to be a hero she wanted to help the war effort and uh, she um, did this. Uh, let me see here. Uh, and they took it, but they never used it until after. They, they, yeah, they didn't use it right away, but they used it later. They didn't use it during the war. It just sat there. Didn't get used. But this frequency hopping, which constantly changed frequencies or something like that, they started using for other stuff. And eventually, when cell phones came out, you know, when you go out with a cell phone now, you're basically frequency hopping. You're going down the street, and it's searching out the closest cell phone, a cell tower, or whatever. Uh, and that's what she invented. You wouldn't have cell phones today if it weren't for Hedy Lamar. Yeah, and uh, she got no. She wound up kind of poor at the end, and she kept trying to get uh, money. She yeah. knew she owed money for well, this, but uh, she never got it. Well, any. what happened is I think the, the trademark or the copyright or whatever, it, the trademark would be, uh, the patent uh, uh, elapsed. 
And in those days, you only got a patent for 13 years, and then you could apply, reapply for it for another 13, for a total of 26. She never even went and reapplied for it. Right, and uh, she got screwed. And she got screwed. And, folks, when you get on your cell phone, it's because of Hedy Lamar. It's not Hedy, it's Headley. Anyway. Headley, Headley Lamar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and she uh, had about six husbands. She had about six husbands. She was, uh, and and it, her, I think her first husband was a Nazi. And she lived in Germany with him, and he was a war, he was a weapons merchant. Okay? And Hitler used to come over for dinner. And um, uh, <laughs> she finally, she fled this whole thing because she didn't like Hitler, she didn't like him, and she came to Hollywood. And on the boat over, I'm, try, I'm doing this all from memory, and my memory is shit, where yours is, and correct me because you saw the documentary. I saw the documentary, she met Louis Mayer. Louis B. Mayer, who looked and at her and said, this, this, is, uh, this is hot stuff. Uh, I think, uh, I think we, should, uh, we should hire her. And uh, he put her um, on his uh, roster of stars in the making and she was um, um, terrible as an actress <laughs> she was a terrible actress but she wasn't she, great no but. but she got better and better and she also was maybe I would say I don't know if you if you saw the documentary I mean it it's so obvious that she was maybe one of the most gorgeous women ever in the history of movies yeah, and that's that's why I like the '40s women. Uh, I'm not a big fan of blonde, and it seems like the '40s had these hot brunettes, which is yeah. what she was. And, and and she was, I mean, stunning, stunning. So uh, as she, uh, in fact, early on in her career, this came back to haunt her. Early on, she was doing acting in uh, Sweden for this uh, Swedish director, and they made a movie called Ecstasy, and in it. She's topless. And only for a short moment. She comes out of the water and she's topless. But in Europe, that was no big deal. She comes yeah. over here. Oh, when they found that out, that was like, oh, good look, naked pictures of Hedy Lamar. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, but anyway, uh, she, she came over here and she went into the movies and uh, she got to know this guy in Thiel because she, he was a... Um, uh, a musician and then when they went and invented this system it had a lot to do with what he knew about music and about chords and about you know things like that and um, um, so she 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 was amazing and then then she got older and uh, she stopped making movies I think one of her last films one of the last big films she did was uh, Samson and Delilah if I right, remember correctly yeah. And then um, she kind of, you know, she, I guess she, she, as beautiful stars go, she got older. She still looked great, but she got older. And in Hollywood, that's terrible, right? Especially in those mm -hmm. days if you were a woman. And she uh, went and, uh, 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 you know, uh, I guess quit films for a while. I don't know who she married after that. Uh, I'm trying to remember, but she had one f marriage after another, and they were yeah, like they six, and uh, then she yeah. kept trying to get the money, and she couldn't for the uh, patent, and then she was as an old lady. She, I'm trying to remember. Did she look okay? No, she it, went, not, didn't age too well. She didn't age too well. Some, and, I think there was some bad plastic surgery, and, and then she got Alzheimer's. Yeah, and she had, uh, I think she had, was bipolar yeah. to begin with. And she had an arrest, which she was famous for, uh, yeah, uh, shoplifting. for shoplifting, which they say she didn't do or because of her mental problems, uh -huh. she didn't realize she had done it. And uh, um, so, uh, but, but she really, you know, she's, she's one of those forgotten stories. And it's important for people to know she existed because she was a brilliant, brilliant woman. Now, you know where she shows up a lot lately? In a lot of these uh, 
sci-fi films or these uh, adventure films, uh, there's either characters like her. For instance, on uh, there was a, what was the show? It was this uh, woman who's a spy. There goes my mind again, and it's one of my favorite shows. And she was on there as as a evil protagonist. I think they even had her being Hedy Lamar. Uh, yeah. And uh, another thing I saw, they had a character like Hedy Lamar, who had who was a movie star who was also an inventor. So she does wind up in other literature these days, but kind of as a comic strip character, <laughs> you know. It's very strange. Um, well, they should do a oh, movie Agent, about Agent, it. It's very uh, fascinating. Agent Carter was the name of the show. Agent Carter. Okay. Um, so that was the, the name of the show that I was trying to remember. And I think they kind of put, I don't know if they called her Hedy Lamar or not, but she was Eva. Oh, yeah, on this show, they this space show. This space show. I call them space shows because anything was science fiction. I, this travel time travel show called Timeless and they go back to that period of time and they meet up with Hedy Lamar, and they kind of convince her to pursue her scientific feelings about things and where she got all that science knowledge from was living with that first husband who was the weapons dealer and she knew a lot of scientists during that time and got very interested in science it's a fascinating story. If people haven't seen it, go watch it. It's uh, is it what's the title? It's called Hedy Lamar something, right? Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah, just type in Hedy Lamar and you'll probably it'll yeah, come it'll up. Come up. It is yeah. so worth watching because it's one of those stories that you know. I used to like listening to uh, what was his name? Uh, the rest of the story. Uh, Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Good day. Uh, Good day. And. Uh, he, uh, oh, I, by the way, Paul Harvey, let me, uh, uh, the audience doesn't know who the fuck we're talking about. And Paul well, Harvey he, is. He was old when we were kids. He was old when we were kids, right? Yeah. He, he still was alive a couple of years ago doing that thing. Every day, oh, there we go. We we lost the signal. Let me, let me call him back again. Oh, boy. Yeah, see? This, this, you there? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's Skype is now dropping calls on me. Okay. It's the third time it's happened with one of these phone calls. Anyway, so, but no big deal. We just call you back again. Um, uh, where was I? Uh, Paul Harvey. Oh, Paul Harvey. So, uh, Paul Harvey used to do this daily thing called The Rest of the Story, which I don't know about you, but I loved it. You know, they're hilarious. Some of them, yeah. You know. Yeah, because he would tell stories about people, and then he would he would keep as a surprise for the end, right? Um, mm -hmm. Keep as a surprise for the very end, what, who the person was, okay? So uh, he would uh, go to the end of it, and he would go, um, um, and that person, that person we've been talking about. That person who invented uh, skip tracing, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that person who, and he would go on like that, and I go, why does he do that? And I'm thinking, of course. And then at the very end, he goes, Paul Harvey, good day. Now, I'm wondering why he did that whole thing, and I suddenly realized, knowing having my great knowledge of radio, he had to fill a certain amount of time. He had to go right to the second, right? So he would keep with that, and that person, that person who we were talking about, that person was, and he's watching the clock, right? Hedy Lamar, I'm Paul Harvey. Now you know the rest of the story. Now you know the rest of the story. Good day. And you, it, it was always, he was doing it to time. That's what it was all about. You know, so... Uh, uh, now, I, another secret of the radio business, folks, that I've demystified, how people go up to the, up to the second on something. I used to be able to do that myself. And so, that, yeah, that, that's a skill. Hmm? Well, that's when you were, skill to do that. When you're working in situations where you had a network, like when I was at uh, Sirius XM and we had to go up to the news on the hour, uh, usually what we would do in that case, you, we had... Uh, 
a music bed that was playing behind me, and then I could say goodbye whenever I wanted to. The music bed kept going, and then we killed it right on the minute, right? Right when we needed it to die. Uh, and uh, that's how we did it. But there were other ways of doing it, you know. And, and the other way was uh, talking up to it. Uh, there was a thing we, we had in radio called talking up to the post. And, and that is where you're playing, going to play a record. And the music is playing, and the vocal is going to come up. And you are talking over the instrumental part of it. And then you mm -hmm. stop when the vocal starts. And a lot of us in this business were really proud of the fact that we could, what we call, kiss the post. We could go up to that, that moment that the person started singing, and we could keep talking, blah, 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 and then the, boom, they would be singing. And the closer you could get to that was really how close you were kissing the post. Now, you didn't have I've to. Never heard that phrase. You didn't have to do that, but you did it because you were proud of that. That was part of being a great disc jockey. Now, today, they don't even talk over the instrumental because, you know, God forbid you should talk over the music. But in those days, you know, you, you remember people would talk. They would say, and it's 25 minutes past the hour, the music would start playing, and here's Bobby Darren with, and then right then he would say the title of the song because it was, he was singing it, right? You know. So that's called kissing. You learn something every day, right? Every Bob? day, yeah. Uh, Paul so, Harvey was in a... Uh if I'm not mistaken, he had a small part in a Humphrey Bogart movie. Really? Was he an actor or what? I think he was just, he was like, uh, they, were, they were chased. I think it was High Sierra and they're chasing him down and he was a radio guy just doing it himself. And, uh, oh, really? By the yeah. way, you have some crackling on your line, which leads me to believe a couple of things. Number one, are you using a, uh, a regular corded phone or using a cell phone? Corded. Ah, okay. That's why it's crackling. And is it raining there today? Uh, sun is out now, but it has been raining. The building's so old, they probably have crappy wiring. Well, well that's what you that crackling, folks, that you hear is water in his uh, in his wires. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So we we can't even call you on your cell phone, right? You can call me on the cell phone, but I got the landline. Yeah, well, it says mobile here, but I guess it's not mobile, huh? Oh, no, this is the landline. <laughs> wow. I should call you on the cell because it would probably be clear, you know. But we have a little bit of crackling, and whenever I heard crackling on the lines when I was doing talk shows, I would know that it was raining wherever that person was calling from. Really? I didn't know that. Wow. This water gets into the wires. Into the wiring, yeah, yeah or even right. dampness will do it, you know. So, so, I'm trying to explain why he's sounding crackling, folks, so you won't be yeah, annoyed well, it's been by. Yeah, raining it. for days out here. So. Okay, that's it. You got wet wires, Larry. How Jeez. shame on you with your wet wires. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it, though. It's it's whatever's in the basement, you know. So, um, it's not. Uh, you you got to. You got a got a little problem there, you yeah, know. But don't worry about it. It'll anyway, dry out eventually. Yeah. So you've been working okay. lately? Oh yeah, they will dry out. A couple of days of no rain, and you don't have crackling. Can you hear the crackling on your end? I can't. No. I see. I'm half deaf. So. We get it on our end. See. Uh, so how's your health been? Health is about the, as it always is. There's always some complaints, but nothing major. What's your complaint? Well, I'm still. I, I want to get. I had a meeting with a surgeon about should I get this hernia done or not. And yeah. well, mine's getting bigger, but it doesn't. Mine has definitely gotten bigger. But it doesn't hurt. So, you know. Does it ever hurt? Uh, occasionally. Occasionally. Will you, even if it doesn't hurt, are you like aware of it? Uh, what do you mean, aware of it without me looking down there? I'm just kind of like, I can feel it, and I just kind of, uh, it pops in and out. And oh, yeah, no, I have that, you know. And it gets, yeah. It's gotten kind of, the bulge is larger, although my wife says she can't see it, but I can because I'm looking down at it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, but I, I don't know, I haven't been to the doctor yet about it, you know. Uh, well, you, you should go. She said she'll do the surgery. She said the... Uh, 
strangulation is rare, one in a thousand, but she said, if it's bothering you, I'll do the surgery. It's up to you. So. Yeah, so uh, 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 what's, what's the, uh, how much is the, uh, well, wait a minute, how long is the recovery on the surgery? Well, she said you could feel pain for three days, but she said they, they've got a good mix of narcotics and <laughs> something else. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, how long is the recovery on it? A couple of days and that's well, it? Uh, a couple of days of pain, but you won't be able to run for a month. Oh, really? Yeah, she said, they, although they do want you walking the next day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know, uh, let me know how it goes, and if it goes okay for you, I'll... Uh, I'll <laughs> if I'll, I survive, uh, if you can sur it. If you survive it, uh, I'll try to survive it, I guess, you know. Uh, who knows? Um, but who who wants to go under the knife? Have you have you ever had any surgery? Uh, b b b b b b b well, tonsils when I was a kid. Okay. You know that was it, and I hardly remember that. Those were in the that days. Was, uh, they what? took them out automatically then, right? What? Yeah, yeah, and then they grew back. Or my adenoids grew back. They took out your adenoids and your tonsils. Now, there's a thinking now that you shouldn't remove the tonsils because they do prevent disease. You there know. actually was a theory that the removal of tonsils might have been what was causing polio. Really? Yeah, because, uh, like you said, they're, they're kind of a defense against uh, bacteria. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that could be true. They found out that the, the, the reason for polio was that we had gotten cleaner. That when, when uh, there was horse shit piled up in the streets and there was, and you know, everything was unsanitary, people grew to have resistance to stuff. When we suddenly cleaned up the society and there was no more horse shit on the, on the street corners and really? piled okay. up and, uh, and all of that kind of stuff, that we then had kids growing up as children who, uh, how can I put the who, who, who had no immunity no, to this particular system. disease, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, it was a little before my time, but my parents said that polio, the polio scare was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Just. Oh, it, it was. It was while I was a kid. It was your greatest fear that you would get polio. People would say, they don't drink. They had a pool. Don't go to a pool. And yeah, there's polio water there. Or don't drink oh, from no. that, uh, that, uh, that uh, water fountain. That's polio water. Well, it turned out it wasn't water at all. That was cholera. Uh, uh, it, 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 they believe now it was that we, we just had become too clean. We had lost our resistance okay. to these. I to that. that theory. That's, that's plausible. And, and that's why it hit kids more than it hit adults, because that was the whole generation growing up without the immunity. Mm -hmm. So, who knows? And they had that, uh, what was that, <laughs> that hideous thing, the iron lung? They had an iron lung, yeah. Yeah, they because still polio have, would like polio would make you what a like a quadriplegic or it would you it couldn't walk and things like that. I mean, eventually, I knew a guy who had polio and he had very thin legs, but he he started walking again, you know. Uh, and I think those kids got out of the iron lungs eventually, but it, it was it was a ravaging disease. I mean, kids were getting it like it's because it was hitting kids. In fact, they had a name for it: infantile paralysis. Oh, okay. and, and and so it hit kids basically, unless you were FDR, in which case he got it, mm -hmm. and that's what what afflicted him. Um, but it 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 really was, you know, our our our, and you know, I got to tell you something. The, the two greatest people in America were this guy Saban and uh, and um, um, Salk, Jonas Salk. Because, I mean, Jonas Salk, Dave Garraway used to tell a great story about how he was going out, he was all dressed up to go to something, right? And his kid said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to speak at a testimonial dinner for Dr. Jonas Salk. And he said, who's Dr. Jonas Salk? And he said, he invented the cure for polio. And his kid said, what's polio? <laughs> and he said, that to him was the greatest tribute that the man could ever have. Is his kid yeah. saying, what's polio? He took a disease and wiped it out. There wasn't a 
I think a couple of years later, there wasn't a single case of polio on the planet. But uh, that was uh, maybe that was our last great era because now we, we don't cure anything. Right. And we then come s- up with pills you have to yeah. buy for the rest of your life. What Sabin came with, along with was even a bigger godsend. And this was the one that I got was he came up with the oral vaccine. Now, kids don't like shots. And the, and the Salk vaccine was a shot. But the Sabin vaccine, they put it on a, on a sugar cube. And yeah. you would uh, swallow the sugar cube. And I think he did it like twice or something like that. And then he cured the, both of them together, I think, cured polio. One cured polio. The other one came up with a way to administer it the kids would uh, accept. So, Hey, listen, we've run out of time. Talking about Hedy Lamar to polio. See, when you don't structure, <laughs> a con- out of polio. <laughs> when you structure, a, don't structure a conversation. It can go anywhere, anywhere you want to. A little adventure that we went on today. Our folks. minds are boundless. <laughs> See you next week, Bubbles. See you. <laughs> Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey, everybody. Well, there's Bubbles, and there goes Bubbles, and we'll hear from Bubbles again next week, I'm sure, because I love talking with Bubbles, not so much. uh, He's just, I enjoy having a conversation with him because he makes me talk about stuff, which is really good. Okay, anyway, I'm going to open up the Skype lines here and see if anybody wants to call. Oh, they have been open all along. Oh, well, let me turn it off. Okay, the Skype line. And let me turn it back on again. That way, people will see it blink. (laughs) All right? And then you can give me a call, and we'll we'll talk with you. What this is, in case you've never joined us before, it's a talk program. uh, But it isn't just me and, um, yes, next caller, please, you know, and then we talk to the next caller. But at least as long as this uh, version of Skype is still working, we do what we call a citizen panel in which we get a group of people together and we all talk at the same time. Well, not at the same time. Hopefully we're respectful of each other's space. And uh, we discuss stuff. And, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's talk like you've never heard it before. Okay? All right. Now, I have to say, see, this is where I sit and I wait. Now, I could start talking about something. Uh, which uh, I will and, until somebody calls. Oh, well, man, here comes Charles Wallace. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Scott Boddicker is the first in. Well, and then it was Charles Wallace. It was a virtual tie. Oh, look. Oh, there he is. He turned. Oh, geez, I forgot to get my volume off. Yeah, you turn your lights on. There we go. Wait a minute. You got to, yeah. Got to turn the audio down. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Hi there, Scott Boddicker and uh, Charles Wallace. There's a similarity Hi. between the two of you in that Scott Boddicker lives in Texas and Charles Wallace comes from Texas. Yeah. Okay. But he moved out of Texas. And tell him why he moved out of Texas. I was in love with this lady. Yeah. She wanted to retire to Arizona. so And then we broke up. <laughs> and you're stuck in Arizona. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like Sorry it? Do you like Arizona? Yes, I do. I love it out here, actually. Oh, okay. All right. And you love it in Plano, don't you, Scott? I hate it. Really? <laughs> no. You've lived there all your life, haven't you? Uh, my adult life, yes. Where were you born? Iowa. You I- knew that. Oh, Iowa. Yes, of course. We well, keep going to Iowa all the time. Yeah. I you figured know. it's just because you like the corn or something, you know. I do like the corn. Boy, you are really average American, aren't you? I'm very, yes. <laughs> very, very average American. And I've been waiting for Phil because I've been drinking all night. So. Yeah, okay, Phil. So I, where the fuck are you, I, Phil? I can go off on him. I heard him last night. He was driving Phil. me nuts. He was driving you nuts. He was driving me nuts. You know, you know I got to tell you something. As long as he's not here, we can talk about him. Uh, he'll be he'll be here soon enough. My wife tonight said to me, "I can't believe Phil." He said, "She said, I assume he's a nice guy." Yeah. And I said, "Yeah, he You're is." Like she dogs. says, "Then how come he is so evil when it comes to his opinions about the human race?" Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. No. No empathy. No empathy. No empathy in, at all. No, no empathy. No. Whatsoever. Yeah. 
I, I wonder why he isn't calling. <laughs> you would think he would be jumping in right now. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Mm -mm. So here's what I'm waiting on. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not doing the show tomorrow night because this person who's my Mark. business manager called me about a month ago and said, we want to ask you, can we come to your house and use your house to cook dinner for a group of people, including you two? Because we'd like to host a dinner party in which we cook the food. And we said, fine, sure, terrific. So they wrote a letter and said, we're looking forward to it and blah, 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 blah. And it's supposed to be tomorrow. I haven't heard from him. <laughs> oh. I called him. His phone doesn't answer. Uh oh. It's kind of like Mike. You know, Mike <laughs> what, what happened yeah. to, you know, this all of a sudden, I mean, I can't find my business manager. Uh, you know, and I, I, I wrote him an email. I wrote, I did a, did a uh, text, and and then I called him, and there's no answer. Uh oh. So he's like 84, isn't he? Well, he's like 82, but you know, oh. pretty damn healthy. You know. Well, wait a minute. Here comes Ray Renati again. Wait a minute, Ray, are you there? Wait a minute, Ray. Add to group call. There. Oh, well, he left. It, it, it just screwed up here. Wait a minute. Let me get rid of him. Here Remove from this group. Okay. Uh, we'll wait to see if he calls There's, again. What? So, so, Alex, Alex, if if I if I have a party for my friends in New York, mm -hmm. and I, I can come to your house as long as I cook for you. As long as you cook. Yeah. <laughs> I have no friends in New York, so I'll cook for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come and you know make ribs. Well, Tony, ribs, Tony's ribs. Friend, kind of. Huh? Tony, Tony Mango. Mango, Magno, Magno. Hold on a second. Let's see now if we get Ray. There, there we go. Hello, Ray. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Uh, okay. You had a little problem getting on the first time. It, I assume, is what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm driving in the city. Uh, oh, I see. So you're gonna you're gonna go in and out on us because you're in the city driving around. You're breaking up on us right now. I have my camera on. I don't want to use it. Uh, I can hang up then. I'll call back when I get home. Yeah, when you get home, call. Okay? All right? Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Bye. It looks like it might be a feel-free night for all we know. You know, you may have been the predictor of that. Uh, uh, you may be the predictor of that, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Scott, because every time you call, it's because Phil isn't going to call. No, and no, and no. so maybe you had a, 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 a well, feeling he wasn't going to call tonight. Well, I, I remember you saying you you weren't going to be here tomorrow night, and it's it's been a while since I called in, so I wanted to call in tonight to well, just say, hey, I'm still alive. Don't send out the... The uh, police to my welfare check me or anything like that. Yeah. Well, I looked at this uh, this thing last night that they that was on uh, Mike's uh, Facebook page, and it wasn't really, I think, referring to Mike having had the stroke. It was referring to somebody else having a stroke. Oh, I, that's not the way I read it, but maybe I, well, I go back and it. read it. It's like uh, 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 it, it goes high. It's, it has the name of somebody that the person oh. says and they said they had a i don't know but no, i think he's uh, had a stroke i really the, do i think i thought it was mike and that make that makes sense because you know you're in your stroke you know i don't know well then we cousin it, that had a stroke anybody that ever heard him didn't you think he was an accident waiting to happen uh well it does tend to get over uh um uh, uh, excited about very trivial things yeah you know, uh, he gets, he seems to yell a lot about something that's not really yellable about, you know. Yeah. Like in restaurants and things, people hear his people talking and he's like, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But anyway, uh, um, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know what Where's happened some... to him. We don't, just don't know. I mean, uh, it's not unlike Mike that if even something were wrong and let's say he was in rehab now, that he would get to a phone and call somebody and say, I'm, a, I'm okay. Like he was on for a long time every time you know when he wasn't working then all of a sudden he was gone for like a year or so Who, who's it like. who's this and now he's back it's great charlie oh yeah yeah, yeah. i'm oh. glad he broke up with his girlfriend yeah, yeah. screw her well me too actually i mean <laughs> I, let's let's be honest about it. the reason he didn't the reason Texas, the That's reason great. he didn't call our show for two for about a year year and a half is because he was pussy whipped yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. anything for pussy. Yeah. Oh, Jason, Jason, all over that, right? Yeah, well, Jason <laughs> he calls once every two weeks because that's what his wife will allow him. Oh. You know. Well, he had a 
better deal than that. Boy, you're breaking up too, Charles. You're, I didn't hear that. Charles, you're breaking up a little bit. Well, it's raining here, too. Oh, well, well, that could be why it's a little bit breaking up. Is anybody else going to call here? Where's Phil? What's with Phil? I mean, I didn't... Okay, all right. No, uh, gee, I hope Phil doesn't call tonight. <laughs> yeah. He can't say his name three times, otherwise he'll show up. Hey, maybe we can get uh, your, your other friend. Uh, oh, my goodness. Only calls when Phil doesn't call in from San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Tom Yamaguchi. Tom Yamaguchi. Jeez, I'm, I'm Yeah, getting... Tom, where are you? It looks like maybe a Phil Free night tonight. He didn't say last night it was going to be a Phil Free night, so now I'm worried about him. Ah! <laughs> you know, it's bad enough that Skype is fucking with Skype, but, you know, uh, and yeah, I may lose a show eventually because I can't get it to work. But uh, uh, also, if all my audience dies on me, I mean, where am I? You know, it, well, you know, it dropped the show. It dropped the show last night at the end. You know, I don't know what that. Away. I don't know what that was. It just. It was like the last minute of the show. All of a sudden, you guys were talking to each other, but you couldn't hear me. And yeah. then all of a sudden, the screen oh. went. Pfft. You know, whatever. You know what happened with me and Skype today? This is the latest one. So the one thing I could always count on is I could go to my uh, my uh, Mac. And I could run the old version of Skype, and they never asked yeah. you to upgrade it or do anything. So I installed this new machine, and I put in it the newest version of, of uh, the operating system for Mac, which is called Mojave. And I hadn't ever tried Skype. So I tried it. And guess what? It wouldn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> it wouldn't I, work. I was going to ask you about that, Alex, because I, I have a Mac, and it keeps saying Upgrade to Mojave. And I'm like, I, I want to hear if Alex says that's a good thing or not. Because well, Alex knows more about this shit than I do. Well, you know, I will always go to the new operating system because yeah. it, it's, it's probably smoother and better. And, you know, it's, they got some little extra bells and whistles. But what happened, it isn't, it isn't Mojave's fault. It's actually Skype. They did something where they knew that as soon as people put in Mojave, the old Skype wouldn't work. Oh, the old, mm. Skype, the old Skype. Okay, like. so I went over to my other machine, which I have in the other room now, and I booted it up and 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 turned on the Skype, and it works fine. The old Skype, the Skype Classic, on so, Sierra. Uh, on Sierra, yeah. Uh, mm. So uh, you know, I mean, it's like those fuckers over at Microsoft. You know, they can fucking blow me. I hate them. Uh, they are such a, I, I, I don't know what to say about it, you know. Hello, John Rockwell. Just uh, to let you know uh, that I was watching you on YouTube and nobody else is on but you. None what? of the other people show up. Oh, you know why? Oh. I didn't, no, I didn't push it. See, I'm so fucked up. I was so into talking with people, I didn't push a button. Ah, okay. Okay, couple there we the go. Folks, it was just a matter of, of I didn't go from t to the, the screen. A couple of the chat people are saying, show us the people. It's like, I, Why? I'm not on that part. Oh, I, I didn't I look. Okay, on, okay, everybody, are you are you happy now? Now you see how ugly our group is here. All right? Oh, and there he is. Wait a minute. And here, here's, but it says here, I go add the group call, and I can't. But wait a minute, let me get rid of that. There, I got rid of that. Anyway, we have Phil. Somehow, Skype is acting hinky tonight. Well, there's Phil. Hey. We, we spoke too early. But, uh, hey, I, I can go back to sleep. Do you know I went 15 minutes with just a shot of me? It's like the old days. <laughs> you, you, you remember when I used to not do the video part of it? I just showed me talking to people. That was yeah, in the well, very you had beginning. A half hour of Larry Bubbles Brown. Uh, that shot. was an old one, wasn't it? Yeah, no, that's a new one. No, that was new. Yeah, yeah. it's new. Well, it sounded like one you did like a couple of months ago. They all Penny they are and timeless and everything. Uh, that's one of his favorite subjects. No, no, we we talked about it once before, I think, uh, yeah. in the history of okay. Petty Lamar. But this yeah. time, he said he saw the documentary on Netflix, so I. I, oh. I have a tendency to repeat myself. Okay, I, 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 I thought I thought it was a rerun. As you get, was, he at, was he at somebody's every, house? Everything to Netflix? me, everything to me is a rerun. Okay, <laughs> you know. Yes, John. Yeah, no, I did, I, 
The main reason I came on was to let you know about that. I need to get off and do a couple of phone calls. Maybe I'll try to get back on before you end of your show. Okay. okay? Thank you, I John. Just, and yeah. thank you. I, I didn't. You know. Yeah. I wish I had looked. All, I wish I had trying looked. Trying to keep yeah. this thing rolling. Here. Thank you. I wish <laughs> I had looked over at the chat, but I don't look enough because it's over here, and I'm looking over here. But sometimes I just go loopy, like I just did, and I don't. Uh, I don't put. Uh, uh, the thing in the screen in the right place and so on. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, I I apologize. But you, you, you got, it got the audio, so you didn't miss much. Yes, uh, Charles. I just wanted to say uh, you're talking to Bubbles about uh, Hedy Lamar. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. She's one of the hottest women that ever lived. Oh, she was gorgeous. She was, she was gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous. She uh, she was stunning and. You know, uh, I, brilliant. I, yeah, well, the thing that makes a woman sexy to me is not only how she looks, but how smart she is. And this woman, you know, I mean, come on. She was a rocket scientist for crying out yeah. loud. It's basically what she was. And um, you couldn't run your cell phones today without that which she invented, uh, yeah. which is called frequency hopping. And that's exactly how you get cell phone going from place to place so she she's the cause of this terrible phenomenon <laughs> of, of what of cell phones no cell phones. no no she invented a method of something it's how we apply it i don't know life wrong. was better before cell phones really you're really well, getting just, to sound like an old it fart. was better before all of those things you know i mean it was enough that we had to have answering machines yeah mm -hmm. but um I, people call you. They want you to take the call. They, you know, you don't give a shit. They want immediate reaction. And same with text messages. If they text you, mm -hmm. I turn off the notifications for text messages. Uh, I started doing that because of Tony, and uh, now I, and I just left it off. Really, I I I kind of have gotten into texting, but it it, it kind of bothers me to a certain extent. It, it we we get further away from being socialized. You know, we call this social media, but it's really not. It's un disocialization, and uh, 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 you know, when you don't have to actually, when you have a phone, and you're typing in a text that sends a message to that phone number. When you could push another button and simply talk to the person, we're moving away from being you socialized. You see people at restaurants texting back and forth to one another rather yeah, than at the same table. Yeah, at the same table. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I I don't uh, I don't type it in. You know, I just I dictate it. Yeah. Uh, because I find the dictation is per. If you learn how to do it right, it's pretty smooth. I yeah. So you always wanted to be a dictator. Yes, I've always wanted to be a dictator. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ah. That's well, why we have Phil on the show. <laughs> so I don't know whether, uh, anyway, anyway, so getting back to Skype. So these motherfuckers, uh, if, have you upgraded yet to uh, Mojave? Uh, no, me? Phil? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Uh, so you're not look. using Skype Classic, are you? Uh, no, I'm using whatever they provide. Yeah, okay, uh, uh, because you couldn't use Skype Classic now. On Mojave, you can do it if you still have Sierra, but you can't do yeah, it on Mojave. Yeah, I've got Mojave on this. I think I got Sierra on my uh, laptop because I was too lazy to do it. Yeah, well, there you could use the old Skype Classic. Let's see, ah. but I mean, uh, the, the, these the, they're just fucking assholes over there. You know, I mean, look, uh, uh, if I have a copy of Microsoft Word from two thousand, okay. It'll still work in a computer. Yep. Just well, let let things keep working if people want to keep really. using them. I had a I had a uh, program that I used to be able to write my yearly minutes for the corporation. Yeah, and uh, it was a uh, I think it uh, the last I used it Windows three point one. Uh, it was uh, you know how old this went back, and uh, then when I tried, group, to, I think it was three point one. Yeah. And uh, then when I finally tried to uh, use it on a, on a newer computer, the computer died. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't load it. I even bought a uh, floppy disk, you know, the three and a half inch floppy disk. So you could uh, load USB, it into it. Yeah. So I could load it in. <laughs> I couldn't do it. They, they, uh, but the, the point I'm making is uh, 
the program still work. They could still allow them to work. Or they could, if, if it won't work with Mojave, but I'm sure they did something so it wouldn't work with Mojave. You know, they knew that it was coming up, but all I'm saying is it, it, the program would not go online. So I had to finally install that fucking stupid piece of shit that they've got out now. And I have no idea how it works. I have no idea how I can create a citizen panel from that. Well, uh, because there's only four of us, uh, I'm looking at your uh, uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. and it's it's ju it's just drawing three large squares and you mm -hmm. in the bottom corner. Yeah. Yeah. So once more people call, you'll have circles. Is that what's going to happen? No, no, not now. Oh. Not not. This is Skype Classic. I've got here. I'm using oh. a Windows machine. Okay. And I'm using a program, a Skype Classic, that somehow has been made impervious to their machinations uh I see. and and so that's why we're still in operation here but if i have to ever go to that new one i can't figure out how to begin with i would have to do it on the mac because i can't it i it, what i do is i tell my little program here that does the switching back and forth folks the switching you know like this okay i tell it to go to that screen to that window and then I simply frame it so that all the extraneous stuff on the side is is masked out and then I, I that's the picture I'm putting out all over the air if I try to do that with the new Skype it won't do it there's no way to grab this picture uh, there is a way to grab the picture but I tried it and it only grabs one of you mm. It doesn't what grab would everybody. If you had a, does that have anything to do with the encoder? And if you had a no, no, uh, no, no, a hardware no, encoder, no, would it no, no, it doesn't. Oh. It, it absolutely doesn't, because there are other programs that will let you use Skype as well, but you have to use this third-party thing. It's called NDI. It's from New Tech, uh, and then you run the video through that, but it only shows one person at a time. I tried it. So, um, uh, and I, all these other programs, if I would go to them, they go, yeah, and if you want to get Skype on, you get the NDI thing. You can get some, you can get your sp Skype caller on from that. Well, but you right. can only get one of them on. Yeah. I don't want to hijack this, but what did you do for Valentine's Day for uh, Marjorie? Nothing. We, we, we went, <laughs> we, well, she took me out, she took me out to an early dinner, uh, I'm taking her out to lunch on Sunday. Now, here's the reason why, okay? It's our Valentine's Day lunch on Sunday is because the biggest ripoff anywhere is going to dinner on Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, because they got a price-fix meal. It, price fix meal. It's double the price of what they would normally cost you. I mean, we went to the one restaurant that we really like called the Both Gotham Bar and Grill one year. And um, turns out it was pre-fee, and it was double the price of. I mean, it came out to three hundred bucks. You know, where any One other thing, night it would come out to one hundred and fifty at that restaurant. Did you notice Scott is saying, "Oh my God, is today Valentine's?" <laughs> <laughs> we we went to a restaurant, yeah. and it was like all these empty tables there. Everybody had a reservation. I walk in with my wife. Yeah. I said. They'll say, we'll see you in 10 to 15 minutes. A half hour later, I said, fuck this place. I'm leaving. Oh, did they tell you to go to the bar first? Oh, yeah. I went to the bar and had a, had a nice And drink. you say the restaurant was empty? Pretty much. It was empty. I said, they don't need my fucking money if they got people sitting around. Yeah, you know, my argument no, always no, is, no. Uh, hey, I, I noticed there aren't people sitting at a lot of those tables. Oh, well, we're holding them. Know. We're holding Reservations. Them. We're holding them. 10 to 15 minutes. I can, I can wait that long. Right. This, this year, I got a break. Uh, I said to Faye, I said, what do you want? She says, I want a Pandora bracelet with some charms. I said, oh, good. Uh, so I so I look and I said, which one do you want? And so I made her go to the store with me, pick it out uh, about two days ago, and she got her bracelet and she was happy. But this morning she says, oh, "Where's wait, my card?" Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Well, what? Yeah. Where's my card? Hey, where are the flowers? You didn't give yeah, me the well, chocolates. Hey, the the card came this afternoon. <laughs> and, you know. Yeah. But I, I, I so I went to the store to get a card. 
And this store doesn't have the papyrus and all the high-end cards. Uh, they're still expensive, but I, you know, I looked at them. I said, you know, you don't have much of a selection today of Valentine's cards, and mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, it was slim pickings. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, the fact is that that I uh, uh, I've always felt that it, it, it that this was a big ripoff, and I find that Valentine's Day itself is a big ripoff for several reasons. Number one, uh, didn't we just give gifts a month and yeah. a half ago? Yeah. You know, well, you got to keep us giving. Uh, and maybe somewhere in between, she even had a birthday, you know. Yeah. I mean, my girlfriend had a birthday in, uh, in uh, November, and then there was Christmas in December, and now in February, it's Valentine's Day. What are you going to get me? And I'm going, to begin with, this holiday was invented by the Hallmark Company. Yeah. It never existed before Hallmark. You have a December birthday, so you were always getting ripped off anyway. Well, I was yeah. December 18th, and Christmas yeah. was the 25th. My yeah, parents. My father's birthday was December 26th. Talk about a guy that got ripped off for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Well, my <laughs> parents got me presents for both, and that's why yeah. I am the way I am. Uh, you know, spoiled. An, an only child except for only the two child. that got buried in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, uh, but uh, I just consider Valentine's Day a complete ripoff because it it's not a holiday that existed except for a commercial purpose to sell cards. Yeah, uh, and then everybody, oh, you've, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? And how did what did he do for you on Valentine's Day? And it's like, and if you don't do enough, you're an asshole. You know, yeah. and it's and always, wife, and wait, wait a minute, it's always yeah. the guy that's the asshole. It's oh, never yeah. the woman. We never say, hey, you know, my, my wife didn't give me anything on Valentine's Day. Sure, her answer would be, well, you know, you you're supposed to give me the gift. Like, what, if, cards, what if, wait a minute, what did Faye get you? Ah, uh, this I got to tell you. Yeah. Uh, she got me a number of items. She says, you need these things. Uh, I got zip ties. I got an exacto knife. <laughs> I got one of those lights that you wear on your uh, forehead. Yeah, and I got a card. And how much and did this? Made, how much? And me. how much did this bracelet cost you? Uh, three hundred. See, see, Ooh. see what I'm talking about. But you, you know why I got the? You know, you know why? I, I know why you got it knife? for her because you'd never hear the end of it if you didn't. Right, but you know, you know, she got me an exacto knife. You know what that's for? What? So I can slit my wrists. Yeah, right. For next yeah. Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, but it's always it's always what's the guy going to do for the woman on Valentine's Day? And I'm going, does it go both ways? You yeah. know. Well, go, here you got me a three hundred dollar bracelet. Great. Here's your card. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. You know. Uh, uh, you know. I I'd say at least you, you know, could, though, at least you could get a blowjob out of the deal, but in your case, it really. Doesn't yeah, matter. it doesn't matter. Cards yeah. cost between <laughs> five and eleven dollars. You know, it's crazy. What yeah, a card used to be fifty cents and expensive. Oh, you ever tried to buy? Five? Wait a minute. You ever buy flowers on Valentine's Day? Yeah. Well, you go to Costco. Oh well, Costco. There, I think they keep the price maybe the same. I don't know. But you go to like because you're always going to forget about the flowers, so you get them from the guy in the subway who's got a flower stand, right? Right. And what is he doing with the flowers? Well, tomorrow they're going to be seven dollars a dozen, mm -hmm. but now they're twenty. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, every they just they pad the pad it. You know, they got all these yeah. little flower stands in New York. You go to the day. I always get the. I always used to get flowers the day before and put them in water. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I knew if I went the next day, the price would be extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, uh, my excuse is uh, if I bring home candy, I eat it, mm -hmm. and I'm diabetic, so I can't have it. Right. And, uh, you know, the flowers, I, I, I buy random flowers. You know, if I'm in Costco, I look, I say, oh, those look nice. Boom. You know. Actually, they, they last a lot longer than a lot of others. But you know what the, what it is with flowers now? Have you bought like a dozen roses? Have you bought yeah. them recently? There's no smell. There's uh, no floral smell to them. You, you're down there burying your nose in them and you can't get a smell out of them. 
Yeah, maybe it's because of the way they uh, grow them in the hot houses and. Who knows? But they don't remember. Am I right, Scott? Didn't they used to have a scent? Isn't that yeah. why you bought them? I, I think you're getting old in your olfactory nostrils. Oh, are fuck dating. you with me getting old. <laughs> My wife says it. Well, she's old too, so she's old too. <laughs> you, you know what it is? It's the Ben Gay. You can't smell anything when over the Ben Gay. How does I smell as Ben Gay? <laughs> I'll tell you, I never use Ben Gay because I don't want to smell like an old person. Well, yeah. it's, it's it was named after you. <laughs> no, it was named after it was named after a friend of mine who was a homosexual. Right, Ben Gay. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I gotta go get some more. He, oh, yeah, he, he, he's got to get good and drunk when he's. When yeah, what is that? Iced tea? No, it's uh, not. Uh, yes, Long Island iced tea. It's maybe. a Boddicker cocktail. You know, I I can't drink those kinds of hard drinks, especially I can't have more than one, you know, or a half. Yeah, I, you know, I don't see how people develop the the taste for it. Some, a friend of mine tried yeah. to tell, turn me on to different scotches. And there are differences in the taste of scotch, but yeah. I can't drink that stuff. I got into scotch a little bit. I mean, uh, I'm not a drinker, but if I'm going to have a drink and somebody says, you want one, I go, okay, scotch on the rocks. Well, uh, you know, he it's the one me, I, he, he yeah. had me start with a scotch called Log Laven. Mm-hmm. Log Laven. Uh, it's a Jerry Lewis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rival thing. A J- Jerry so, Lewis scotch. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, I once went to a place, it was one of these cigar places, yeah. and I got a glass of scotch. It was a very expensive glass of scotch, because uh, I said to the guy, what's the best one you got? And that one was actually tasty, but it wasn't worth $23 for a little thing. Yeah. Uh, mm. yeah. 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 So anyway, so uh, other, otherwise, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm. So uh, I so we what we did is, uh, she said let's just I'll take you out to dinner tonight mm-hmm. for just a small little it was an early it was uh, a late what kind late of scotch lunch is that oh that's not scotch that's whiskey right no it's a bourbon it's oh. a bourbon yeah 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 I'll just bring the bottle so I don't have to leave next time oh all right yeah what, what and kind why do you drink it straight from the bottle uh, yeah. it's a uh, I don't know it's show the label uh oh. Extra Brooks. Ezra Brooks bourbon yeah. whiskey. I li- I liked it because it had a cork in the top. I like I like, you know, with corks. I don't know why. It makes you feel more like it's uh, it's legit. Well, yeah. What else do they do? Screw on or? Yeah, most of them are just you know the screw tops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Unless you get a good scotch. A good scotch has a cork. Well, you know, here's like what I'm wondering. Now I'm not a drinker. Okay, so you guys are going to have to educate me about this. About why? Educate. You know, everybody goes. Uh, uh, he's drinking wine from a box. I, I do that. Now, what makes that wine not as good as the wine in a bottle? I get wine in a box and I keep yeah. it at the store for customers. You know, I got Chablis and I got. Um, uh-huh. And is it uh, bad? Does it, does it suck? No, no, it's good. No, it's good. Okay, so what's the whole thing with the cork and the bottle and you put, you know. <laughs> What? Who cares? Well, well, no, a friend of mine. Day, you let the wine day. sit in the barrel for five years or however long it takes to ferment, and then you just pour it into a box. When I first moved to San Francisco, I met this guy who was the master sommelier at a restaurant called the Alexis. I mm-hmm. don't know if you remember that. It was across from Fairmont and the Mark Hopkins. Mm-hmm. And he uh, said, I'm going to teach you about wines. And he said that... Uh, People who smell the cork don't know what they're doing. He said, you can have a bad cork, but a good bottle of wine. So he says, when the sommelier gives you the cork, you just put it down on the table and, and leave it there. All you want to do is look to see if the cork is, uh, was bad so that air got into the bottle and, uh-huh. uh, and damaged the wine. Yeah. But he says smelling it has no. Uh, well, okay. Uh, so now we've we've got the cork, okay, and that's good yeah. good news that we should know. The, the, the smell of the cork is not going to tell you anything about the wine. Right. Why is a screw top bad? It's not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but people want don't want a screw top. They want a cork. 
It you, doesn't do that sound. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's not that, you know, what they found is that there's no difference uh, whether you have a screw top or uh, or a cork. And, you know, living out here, this is wine country. We've got Sonoma, Napa, and yeah. you, you get a lot of uh, a lot of exposure to, to different wines. Yeah. So, Mike, I guess my question then uh, is, uh, I guess with uh, champagne, for instance, there's no way of really adequately recorking it, although there are some things you can get to put in there, but once you've opened it up, you've, you, you know, that's an effervescent the whole brew. Bottle. Huh? Yeah. You got to drink the you whole gotta bottle. drink the whole bottle and half of it comes out when you open the, 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 you know, blow the cork on it. Well, right? it depends on how you open it. Uh, do you ever go to a place like, uh, uh, Schramsburg, uh, up near Calistoga, they take you when you go on the tour you turn the wines. It's called riddling. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. They turn uh, the wines. so yeah. uh, champagne, uh, what they do is, well, first of all, they open up the cork mm. at one point during the during the uh, aging process to let some air in there. And that's what gives it its, uh, 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 what do you call it? Not effervescence. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, it, it gives it its sparkle. Well, the sparkle, uh, the, no, the sparkle no, comes no, from the ferment. the air in it that it, uh, gives it. Well, whatever. Uh, you know, I, so it they take you on this tour and you riddle the bottles, a job right. they should be doing and not right. char and not not having you do when you're paying for the fucking tour. Well, uh, it, it's fine. You, 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 turn, you turn the bottles and to riddle, you turn it a quarter of a turn. And they do this uh, every uh, several months. And the. Uh, the other thing is Schramsberg is pretty neat because it's all caves. And these caves were built in 1865. No, and no, the caves originally... were built long before that. Caves well, exist before they they found these caves. Uh, no, I think they hollowed them out and they Oh, well, then they they're not them. caves. They're artificial caves. Artificial caves. But you know who owned Schramsberg? Uh, I... uh, uh, Reagan's second wife was Nancy... Uh, Jane uh, Wyman. Davis? Uh, no, no, second wife. Oh. Nancy Reagan. Yeah, but what was her maiden name? Nancy, uh, uh, what was it what was the, the, uh, in the movie? She was Nancy, uh, oh, well, boy. Well, her, her parents owned that winery at one time. Oh. And, uh, and Reagan actually uh, was there uh, while he was president, and they had a, a nice display uh, showing what he ate that night and what wine he had. Mm -hmm. uh, but Schramsberg is a very interesting winery. Wow. And it's probably one of the best California champagnes you can get. Well, you want me to tell you how political I am? Scott, you're yeah. going to appreciate this. I have a favorite show. I have to admit that there's a show I really like, and I don't know why I like it. It's just great chewing gum entertainment because you, just, you chew on it, you know? And it, it's called Pawn Stars. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like uh, that. Okay. And I like the show because, I, you know, a guy comes in, I've got this. A uh, guy says, I'll give you 100 bucks for it. He says, but I want 5000 He says, well, you're not going to get it. I'll go as high as 150 you know. And, <laughs> and, and they sit there and they barter. And, you know, and it's also you see this stuff and it's interesting. I just, I like the show. It's great chewing gum. And I've always liked the show. Well, the other day, they, they've expanded it to, to an hour. Which is terrible because now they're stretching it out and they're doing little factoids and they're doing little history and they're doing little adventures they go on and shit like that and they've ruined the show. But on top of that, this this time, they had a uh, a, 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 a a what a, a fighter hat or what what do they call the helmet? Helmet. Little fighter helmets for a guy who flies a plane that had Ronald Reagan's name in it. Said R. Reagan in it, and they think it was used by him in making a lot of these training films that he worked on yeah. during the war. And so they go to the Reagan ranch where they meet up with Michael Reagan, the biggest phony of all time, because he really yeah. isn't Ronald Reagan's son they adopted. Well, he's adopted. He was adopted, and he's a shithead. Anyway. But he's the, one of the few kids that liked him. Y yeah, and uh, y yes, right, because <laughs> Ron Jr., saddest thing I ever daughter. heard, saddest thing I ever heard in my life was Ron Jr. was being interviewed about his dad, and he said, um, you know, the sad part about it was is he, he, he got Alzheimer's and it became very distant. But you couldn't tell the difference between that and the way he always was. 
<laughs> yeah. And then Patty wasn't too happy with him either. Yeah, Patty, Patty. I went was... to college with Patty. Yeah. yeah. Pa- Did you? Yeah. Was she hot? Northwestern, yeah. She, you know, I think she was hot. She was hot. Did she plo- she posed for Playboy or something? Yeah. 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 In her anyway, in, 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 no, in her in her nighty. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. So anyway, so um, this Michael, I think his name is Mike Harrison. Michael Harrison. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's Harrison's a, the he, people that own he, pawn shop. The, he's the guy, and they, and they're going to the ranch, and they, he's talking about Ronald Reagan. He says the best president ever. And I said to myself, "Well, that's it. I'm not watching this show anymore." <laughs> wow. I uh, I've gotten apparently he never life. heard of FDR. I mean, I'm just I'm just saying, you know. Well, he was better than FDR, but uh, I, oh, I he got was. Through. How was he better than FDR? Uh, he made America proud again, and you know, he no, he made America down, great again, and then this asshole communism. stole it from he, him. He, hey, FDR didn't get rid of communism. Uh, you know, the the wall came down. No, he I, they, the wall didn't come down because of Ronald Reagan, Phil. No. Yeah, he, he pushed that's revision. That's revisionist history. No, he got there and said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And I'm sure Gorbachev is sitting there. Well, if Ronnie says so, I guess I better. You know, <laughs> this is a tough thing. Reagan wants him to tear down the wall and Trump wants him to put it up. You know, what's the deal here? Well, no, what's interesting. We what, what, what's the interesting, that, 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 that says a lot about walls that we wanted yeah. to tear one down. And, and this guy's trying to build one up. Yeah, but, you know, all we had to do was ask Gorbachev, give us the wall, and, you know, we wouldn't have to come up with all these billions of dollars. But yeah. uh, I, I have been watching a show, uh, which is Sea Hunt, and I've gotten through just about 161 episodes. How? That was the worst show of all time. I love oh, that I show. Loved it. <laughs> and and what you got to do is you got to skip the first like thirty seconds because it's the same. Well, you got to miss. We got to miss the first thirty episodes. <laughs> oh no no no! I I, I, I love I love that show. It, it and has kept me very very Lloyd happy. Bruce? Who's that? Uh, See, Lloyd I Bruce. Don't Lloyd See, Bruce? I don't understand. See, I don't understand you guys. How you can watch Sea Hunt? I remember Sea Hunt when I was a kid, and I didn't like it when I was a kid. Okay, well, and then I I hear uh, Jack talk exciting. about he's watching every episode ever of Perry Mason, you know, and I'm going, how oh, can you dumb. watch that shit? Oh no, I've got the complete Perry Mason. Uh, every really? Story. What? Tell me what's great about Perry Mason. He always wins. Well, he lost three times actually. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, he actually had three episodes where his client was guilty. And I can't watch it. I met I met up with Raymond Burr years later when I was working in Armed Forces Radio. And uh huh? Nothing. And, and Go this, ahead, tell the story again. And and this guy was flaming. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, was he was so gay, gay yeah. I couldn't believe it. Now you know an actor usually when they're acting, and of course in those days you had to kind of closet it, right? Yeah, but the guy was well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When you act, you, you, you kind of he part of his acting ability was to act uh, heterosexual. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, then all of a sudden, you meet this guy, and you go, "What the fuck happened to Perry Mason?" <laughs> you know. You had a, you had a Plus, by that time, guy. he had put on a few pounds too. Yeah. He was not, you know, yeah. he was not only gay, but he was fat. Well, he had Orson Welles' uh, 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 workout guy. You yeah. Know, uh, what do they call those guys? Uh, but people yeah. forget the people forget this. What happened was when Russell they made when, when they made Godzilla. In Japan, yeah. it was an all Japanese cast, and all of a sudden they wanted to put it in the theaters here, but nobody wanted to go to a theater and see nothing but Japanese actors with subtitles or even dubbed. So they had to put a American in the film and insert scenes with the American so yeah. the American audiences would accept it. The original title was Gojira. Gojira. And uh, the, 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 and they changed it to Godzilla here in America, and uh, the guy they hired to do those fill-in pieces was Raymond Burr. Raymond Burr. Oh. In fact, he had a name in the picture, and I can't remember the name now. But he that was that was Raymond Burr. What Raymond Burr did. Now nobody wants to see that version of the film. They all want to see the Japanese yeah. version, which is a very good kind of anti-nuke picture. Yeah. You ever it, noticed that Godzilla's mouth? is moving but nothing comes out of it for a few seconds and then all of a sudden he says come here little girl you know no no no, no. Uh, all right they, they dub godzilla you know yeah. uh, no they didn't dub godzilla 
<laughs> uh, no, but or, but Godzilla originally was made to be a uh, uh, kind of a, a treatise on nuclear, what what the, the evils of nuclear power and nuclear which bombs you can and things like that. Understand since we dropped the bomb yeah, on yeah, Japan, and that's exactly why they did it. And um, payback, and they liked it so much we did it twice. Yeah, and who was the big Japanese director? Um, uh, Hayakawa. Hayakawa. Not Hayakawa. Oh, oh, he was the senator from He was the San senator Francisco. from California. <laughs> no, the big director. Uh, oh, God, my mind's such a blank. God, it's just going, it's going, it's going to hell. Not Aang. No, 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 no. He's new. The, one who, the one who did the Seven Samurai and... Uh, yeah, I know who you uh, Hold on a second. Uh, I just go over here to IMDb, and I look up Seven Samurai, Seven Samurai. Oh, boy, I'm going to hate myself. Seven Samurai, seven. and it was uh, Tessiro Mifune. Yeah, uh, Tessiro <laughs> Mifune supposedly directed Godzilla. Really? And uh, Shiro Honda, now I can remember him. <laughs> Was credited with being the director on it, but he was on every other uh, 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 Toshiro Mifune. No, no, excuse me, Toshiro Mifune was the actor. Hold on a second. Oh, that that guy Honda. He also had a kids named Civic uh, uh, and uh, Family. Akira Kurosawa. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Kurosawa. Uh, 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 Kira Kurosawa. Uh, supposedly, he was his assistant director, and so he directed Godzilla. And it's rumored that uh, Kurosawa actually directed Godzilla, or a lot of uh, it. Yeah. So anyway, I I've been watching Sea Hunt. No, oh, gee. And, Here we go back to Sea Hunt. And it's almost over. And the there's another show. You're that binge based watching. On, you're binge watching. Watching 161 episodes of Sea Hunt. I watch it at work on my phone. That's that's how much I'm enjoying it. I, I I'm at it's my how computer. Much work you do apparently. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm at my computer and I set my phone on my desk and I go to YouTube and I, and I watch it. But there's also a show that Faye likes now called uh, Nothing to Declare. And it's people coming through customs in Canada and the U.S. And, uh, and then and being England. turned back by Trump. Well, no, they get turned back by the Canadians. You know, if they if they suspect that you might have some sort of uh, a criminal background or you try to come in with uh, a little marijuana or something. Uh, they, they arrest you. They turn you away. It's, a, it's, it's an amazing show. Nothing to declare. And then they find things like food and uh, drugs. And uh, it's actually a, a pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, it, and it's addictive. Yeah. 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 So. But it's on YouTube. And lately, uh, you know, YouTube has been keeping me pretty happy. There's this guy uh, that finds phony Navy SEALs, and uh, he's he's a bit of an asshole, and his wife is hard to take. But uh, it's interesting when they really corner one of these guys, and they find that these you know that they're lying and that they're uh, uh, stealing valor, and uh, yeah, and and it's amazing how they they won't admit to it, even though the guy has them dead to rights. And because he was a SEAL, he has access to a database that is a SEAL database. So he knows every SEAL. Uh, I'm just wondering, is Lloyd Bridges stealing valor because he uh, says he's a UDT, <laughs> you know, before SEALs? Well, anyway, anyway, I can't watch Pawn Stars anymore yeah. because this guy here is The old man's dead. They killed anybody him all. anybody who think. thinks that Reagan is the best president ever... Uh, I'm sorry, I just can't watch a show anymore. Oh, uh, then, I, then I won't have a show. <laughs> you don't think? Although right. I like Trump now. Yeah, yeah, you're really a good judge of fucking character. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like you. <laughs> well, don't spread that around, okay? I've got a reputation to maintain. Yeah. So, so uh, what is it? You're just going to be the four of us? Here? It's going to be the three of us. Well, it looks like, yeah. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, uh, Jeff is Ray. down in Florida. I think Ray got lost. Ray got lost. Uh, John had other stuff to do. Yeah, more important, he'd make phone calls, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you know, it's late there. What kind of people he calls at yeah. night? Oh, it must be the sex line. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's his phone calls. Uh, but anyway, so, um, so let's see. So I have my problem with uh, Skype on my Mac now that I can't use it on this machine. Uh, what else uh, is, uh, is a problem? See, uh, the reason I wanted to be able to use it on this machine uh, is because thirty three hundred. Well, it, I will. It, I can get the picture from the screen on the Mac. However, that is the good news. The bad news is this fucking new version of Skype. I can't. I don't know how to get a, a, a citizen panel, and I can't. I've gone online to look at how you do it, and all it says is you just invite people to come on, and I don't know which one of you are going to want to come on on a given night. You know, yeah, I, you, you, you call, you call, invite. it rings, it says add to group. I push the button that says add to group and we're there. Will somebody do some research and tell me with the new Skype how I create a citizen panel without having to like call everybody back and bring them into the fold and shit like that? Well, I don't it's understand. It's basically it. a group call, right? It's basically, it's a group call, but... Here, I can add them as people call. If you want to call, I can pick up your call. Now, on that one, if I pick you up, it cuts everybody else out. It kicks everybody else off, yeah. Really? Yeah. And, and, and even if there's a plus where it says add, con add to, uh, to group or whatever, uh, it doesn't add them to the group. I can't figure it out. Cannot figure it out. So if well, anybody I, has an I, answer I to like that. that. If I'm talking, you mean you can cut everybody else off? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a treat for all of us, Phil. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, if if I ever if it's ever that I have to use that one and there's no way of doing that, uh, I'm gonna have to stop doing the show. That's it. Uh, I have to think of something else to do. You know. Well, it would be a lot more work because you'd have to drag each person that you want to talk into the into the main screen no but that that that's enough work as it is already because you can only put four people on the screen at a time mm -hmm. yeah but that's not bad because in most cases maybe four people are the main, the main talkers on the show and then i can just drag them it's i'm not that's not the problem the problem is how i get them all there at the same time and that's what i want to know is how do i get you all there at the same time the only thing I've seen is it says, well, you just go to your contact list and you say Phil Meyer and you send him an invite to come on. And he, I'm going, well, Wait. I, I would imagine maybe that's for the first time. No. But once once no. they've had the no. invite, no. No. I, will somebody tell me how I can on the fly add somebody to my panel? That's I'm what sure I'm Googled all I this, right? I've Googled it to my, until my, my, my eyes have fallen out, you know? <laughs> And I and I haven't gotten an answer. And then you go to Skype and uh, oh, try customer support. Well, to begin with, there's nowhere you can call. And I could do a um, a thing online with a chat, but to figure out how to do that takes forever. You know, it's like they don't want anybody bothering them. They don't want anybody telling them. You know, your program really sucks. You know, so they're sitting there living in this reverie about. Don't we have a great program? Nobody's complaining. You know why they're not complaining? Because there's no way to get a hold of you. All right. So steps. No, Learn no, how to start no. a conference call on Skype. Yeah. Click click add contacts icon. Yeah. In the top right corner of the conversation. Yeah. yeah. Select contacts you want to add see? to the conference see? call. I see. Click the add button when you are finished selecting contacts to add them to the call. Mm -hmm. So does that mean you just add everybody and whoever then chimes in is is added? I have no idea. You that, know, you've got what, 20, But isn't the people? old way where somebody calls and you simply push on a button that says add to the group the yeah. simple way of doing it? Yeah. It initiated the call. The, yeah. 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 Like when Scott calls, it says uh, add to group, and I add add Skype uh, add him to the group. If somebody else calls right now, it, it'll okay. ring. Yeah. You can select up to twenty four contacts. So you uh, to start a group call on Skype, or you have to go in and you have to click each username to highlight it. So it's you know just click twenty four usernames, and those are the twenty four that can join that day. Well, suppose somebody new wants to join. Welcome. 
<laughs> you know, before a lot, before a lot, lot of luck. You well, well before all you had to be was part of <laughs> one of my contacts. I, I had me add you as a contact, and if you're in that yeah. whole list of like 200 that I've got here as contacts, then those well, people can call in. Well, Anything. now you're going to have to just highlight 24 uh, every and, time uh, I go online. No, I, I uh, well, just leave them highlighted. Oh, really? really? Uh, that's what you share the uh, you share um, the uh, Skype with the other shows. Well, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe why can't the other shows use their own Skype? Well, I guess they can. You know, because uh, Rin's not calling your show, and uh, yeah, that was so let's of, say it, 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 Damien it, wanted to. Let call me him. ask you, though, Phil. Way. Phil, let me ask you: Is this e as easy as the other way? No. Then why don't they do it oh. the other way? The, certainly Add they could build people to a call in progress. Oh, okay. Okay. Go, uh, go ahead. This is dated no, uh, November of 17, so it can't be the newest one. No. Uh, if you're already in a conference call and need to add someone, people at the bottom of the Skype pane, uh, select an add person icon. So, no, this has got to be the old one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because you were able to do it that way. Yeah, I do it right now. Yeah, with this yeah. version of Skype. So, you know, I don't understand it, folks. But uh, if any of you can figure it out, uh, Alex will never stop doing this show. Ha ha. Thank you very much, Marty. <laughs> I read that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, well, here comes Ray Renati now. Let's see, it says hey, add to group. So I push add to group. And then he comes on screen here, and the next thing we know, we've got Ray Renati. You see? Hello. Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ray. I got Safeway buying my wife a last-minute Valentine's for my best president. Oh, 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 you got, you got, you, you got bitten by that bug, huh? Yeah, I gotta get some flowers or something. What? Safeway flowers. Why don't why, 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 why don't you get her a bag of flour? Yeah. Why don't you get her a bag of flour and say, "Here's your Valentine's Day flour." <laughs> Get her some seeds. Get her some seeds and say you're thinking ahead. Now bake me a cake, bitch. Oh, that's hilarious. I should get her a bag of flour. <laughs> that's great. I love that. I could get her a bag of flour and some flour. Well, don't, but, but, but don't give her the flowers first. Give her the bag of flowers. Bag of flour. Yeah. I got you a flower. Yeah. And then when she gets all pissed off, I'll give her the flowers. Right in the bathroom? Yeah, 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 and you know, if you, you want to that? give her candy, you know oh, the yeah. worst candy yeah, you can going, give yeah. anybody on Valentine's Day? Those little Valentine's Day hearts, which, by the way, they're not making anymore. The company yeah. went out of business. Hey, did you hear that stream? He pisses like a 14-year-old. Wait, is he in the bathroom at Safeway? Huh? Is he in the bathroom at Safeway? Yeah, yeah, I, I was. Yeah. I was. <sighs> I thought I'd share that with you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, you're getting a good signal audio-wise. Why don't you just turn on your camera and let's see Safeway. It's been a long time since I've been in California and been able to oh, see a Safeway. He's got to pull his pants up first. Uh. Yeah, I had to do that. Oh. Actually, I walked into Safeway with my belt and done. Yeah, just, just uh, 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 turn okay. your turn your camera uh, to the outside camera and just show a Safeway. Yeah, okay. We don't want to have to see your goddamn face. No, no, no. I, uh, no I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just, it's not easy. There we go. Safe there we go. Security. Okay. Yeah, there security. we go. Here's some flowers. Uh, oh, there I'm we go. Okay, let's see. What kind of flowers shall we? Uh, shall we? The roses. Shall we? Oh, uh, by the way, smell the roses. Bucks. Look, they marked up. They marked them up. What? Four bucks. Four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Just go over to the side that says in memorium. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of cheap ones. Oh, here they are. Now wait a minute. See, the, do, do me a favor. Do me a favor, Ray. Yeah. Smell the flowers and tell me if you could find any smell in there that's really floral. Listen, you want to, okay, let me see. There's uh, a homeless guy right next to him. He'll he'll yeah. get a smell. There's a little bit of smell, but those aren't roses. You, you, no, but, but flowers don't smell anymore. No, I know that. Let me see. Yeah. smell a vision There's some red roses, and they have a very, very slight See, oh, that's yeah, what they, I'm saying. Shouldn't well, didn't roses used to? Am I right, hey, guys? Ray, yeah. If yes, you scratch they it, do it on purpose. You got to scratch it and then sniff. <laughs> yeah. It's because all the bees are dead. Well, I'll no, get... there's different kinds of roses that have different. They, they you know, that people get. They say, you know, they have uh, allergies and shit. 
this film. Yeah. So I bet you do. most of the roses and stuff forest. are coming from Central America and Mexico. See yeah, now that's a that's a nice so that's a that's a nice yeah, bunch. Oh, this, these pink ones have a little bit of odor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, those pink ones do. But that's called. St- but wait a minute, that yeah, where the yellow flowers were, that was a very nice bu- uh, bunch. That's the kind I would yeah, get yeah, girlfriend. Let's see. Let's see. What's a I good would... cheap one that looks good? Oh, here's some yellow ones that look pretty cool. How much are they? Uh, I think they marked some of these up because of Valentine's Day. Well, not, yeah. four dollars okay. is not marking them but, up. But they're all open. Well, that's a lot of money. For uh, are, are, you see those uh, those pink ones or rat, uh, that you just passed, or oh, they might have been tulips. No, no, under that, uh, because all they're all yeah those. Yeah, those I used to like what Bobby open. what Bobby Slayton used to say about uh, about flower shops. He says you go into a flower shop and you see another guy in the flower shop and you sidle up to him and go, so what are you in for? <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's like that. nobody ever buys flowers for the the woman in their life unless they've got to say I'm sorry for something. In yeah, fact, tonight, just, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make if you want to make your wife yourself. really suspicious, like not this, not tonight, because you're supposed to on Valentine's Day, but on some time when it's there's no holiday or anything, just buy her of some flowers, and she's gonna you think you've been the fucking around. Fourteen ninety nine was empty, huh? Yeah, fourteen ninety nine was empty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, wait a minute. We just lost Ray. I think he's frozen. We frozen. And he saw the prices of that flowers that he just picked up. He, he, oh, there you go. A robocall. Oh, uh, 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 you just got a robocall. Almost okay. cut me off. Oh, uh, you got to get Robo Killer. Yeah. Uh, I do, but you know, well, anyway, are you going to get her some flowers, or aren't you going to get her flowers? I did. I did. I got her. I'm getting these. Uh, right? Oh, okay. He's going to get her a loaf of bread. Oh, that's fine. That's very. That's very nice. And now I'm going to go buy a sack of flour. Okay. Uh, oh. Let's see. I gotta find it. Uh, this is exciting. This is inciting radio. This isn't or radio. TV or whatever it is. This is what YouTube. Is this? Hey, I gotta tell you. Do you know right now the numbers are going up on the on the video stream? Well, this has never radio. been done before. Yeah. Okay. okay so, you don't have to get her a big one. You know. Yeah. They no, got just get her a little uh, tiny. Get a little see, smaller bag. One. Yeah. Like something that's oh, really cheap. They don't have those small bags. Where's this? Hey, small this bag flower is more expensive than the roses. Yeah, you're right. No, it's four. Jesus. How much is the? They don't have those. Yeah, it's four, four something. I think there. Yeah. Well, she she can make me some bread. Yeah. She, yeah. Uh, shut up, bitch! You make me a cake. Purpose yeah. flour. What? Small How about some flour? bread flour? How about some whole? Some whole wheat flour. No, no, that, that's, gonna co- no. that's gonna cost. That's gonna cost you more. Just get a what's regular. What's self-rising flour? Uh, you just put it out. Well, Phil, Phil, rises. let's not talk. Let, Phil, Phil, no, Phil, no, Phil, 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 let's not talk All about purpose. self-rising any longer, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I always oh, had an no, assist. Small thing. <laughs> yeah, we small got flour. Cialis for that. Oh, uh, <laughs> there you go, metal flour. That's good. There, there you go. That's the kind I would buy. Yeah, yeah right yeah, there. That's what I'm okay. All yeah. purpose. Yeah. 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 And then you, you then don't give her the flowers first. Chocolate. No, leave it. Well, if you want chocolate to get it, chocolate milk. Uh, get chocolate yogurt. <laughs> I could get her some Ben and Jerry's chocolate. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. All right. Is this, how is it? Is this, is this too boring now? No, 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 no. This is you okay. know. See, this is, this is your ex- kitchen wear. Oh, get, get it's, it's, either, it's either this or, or Phil waxing poetic about Donald Trump. What do you want to do? the expensive ones in the in the thing here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm not. Oh, they have vases. Oh, are those are the yeah, ones that have... make you feel like a piece of shit that you bought the other stuff? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I won't look at that too long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to feel like a piece of shit. All right. Uh, chocolate. The problem is if I buy the chocolate ice cream... I'll end up eating it. Yeah, yeah. That's Eleven dollars? Wait. For ice cream? Where are you in Palo Alto? I, I saw Palo something Alto. that said eleven dollars under the Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, you're there right. No, is. three for eleven dollars. Wow. Oh, oh three oh. for eleven. Ooh, that's a good deal. Yeah. Yeah, until you get diabetes. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I finally <laughs> heard from my business <laughs> manager. She oh three ninety nine ice cream. That's good. Uh, no, okay. So. All right. I guess I, I just I got a letter back from my. Uh, I just got a letter back from my. Uh, uh, What'd you get, Alex? Or? Huh? I just got a letter yeah, back from my I'm business manager. This is gonna make me how, how are the numbers? What can I do to help? Uh, mute. That's how <laughs> you can mute. It'll help. Mute. Don't need a mute. Okay, I'll mute. No, no yeah, you don't, you don't like mute. the plastic. 
Yeah, it's uh, the crackly plastic makes uh, a lot of oh, noise. Oh, I, I, sorry. No more plastic. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'll get to... I'll get you know, when I was a oh, kid, Hagen-Dazs. I went to NBC Studios. Yeah. And uh, they took a uh, film and they cr- and they crackle it up. Yeah, well, that's for five that was, yeah. that was supposed to sound like bacon being made. And that's kind or of a what fire. Your, uh, or a fire. Or a fire, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a, that's a little the what do you call it? The sound guy. What do you call the yeah. sound guy? The Foley. Uh, Foley guy. Yeah, Foley guy. Foley guy. All right, so I'm gonna mute it while I'm in line, so I don't seem rude and get Okay. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Thank you. Twenty Pepsi's. Let's. What's this other guy buying? I always like to look at what the next person in front of me is buying <laughs> and thinking about how unhealthy they are. Well, yeah, see, this they don't want you to put your shit down. That's why he didn't move the uh, little red thing, the separator, because they want to take the whole thing. And if they put the separator down, that I, means you I, can came, start- I came up with a name for that. OK, because I was writing a screenplay once and I had to I had to say this guy was the king of making those. He had a company yeah. that made those things because somebody's got to make them. Right. Yeah. yeah. So what would what would you call them? Separators? Yeah, I call yeah. them a grocery baton. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, huh? That a good name for it? Yeah. Then they started putting advertising on them. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, uh, it was just a stick. Yeah. And, and- yeah. Well, let's see the ad on that baton. Uh, let's see here. What is it? Julian Lee. What? 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 Juliana Lee. What? Dot com. Oh, what she's she got to be real estate. She's, oh, really? Yeah, she's yeah. a big real estate person. Ah, here. Fuck that. Now, what's, does anybody like, read what's, what's on those batons? This? Do you ever read Paul them? Caldwell Banker or something? No, it's KW. I don't know what that one is. Yeah. Uh, Keller Williams. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Ask Keller yeah. Williams. That's who's selling our house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Has it sold yet? Uh it's only been on the market uh, uh five days. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And now that you fixed it all up, you a little pissed off you moved? It looks nice. I really <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's usually great. what happens. Yeah, it's great. It's, I, I fixed all the plumbing issues. I mean, and I, I, you know, every time hey, I turn around. I, I got news for you. Phil, turn, Phil fixed all his, Phil fixed all his plumbing right. issues, too. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. did you notice yeah. all those paper bags? In my town, they charge you 10 cents for a bag. And I always forget to bring the bag, you know, the fabric bag in with me and uh, end up begrudgingly taking the bag. Sometimes I just say, nah, I'll eat it all right well, here. Well, I wish I could say that was because <laughs> the, because the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, paper? No, the, the places were getting cheap, okay? That the grocery stores were getting cheap. But I think it's a law in California now, isn't it? Well, I, yeah, definitely in Walnut Creek it's a law. Uh, yeah. They have to charge you for the bag. Uh, yeah, that was that way in Austin. Like at Costco, they don't give you a bag, so you can buy the bags. And what I get are those big bags they've got, and those things last forever. I, I mean, get the free boxes. I finally had to throw some out because side. there was too much meat juice in them. You know, residue. Well, they were starting to smell, well, but they would know, not have break. You notice those boxes? They cut them in such a way that you really can't use well, them. No, but what you got to do is get the bags. You got to get yeah. the bags. That uh, those of uh, those bags, and they. Fabric I fabric. swear to you, they're not fabric. They're some kind of plastic, but they never oh, break. High par. Yeah, it's they like, never like break. They are paper. so good. And you know what else is good at Costco? The carts. Yeah. The carts never go bad, and they're double duty, and they're very strong, and they're very heavy. You know, so yeah. whatever. You know what they say about carts? Let's see. Wait, look, quick. Handles. Just guess for a moment how much money he spent. I'm saying it's uh, $18.95. <laughs> $18.95. How much did it I come say, to? I say uh, 60 bucks. Sixty bucks and the flowers were uh, well, what four else something. Get? Uh, nah, he got yeah, the flower. Can't, I'd say eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, I got Hagen Dazs. I got a bag of flour and I and I got flowers. And how much did it come to? All right, so twenty three dollars. Uh, Forty two dollars. Did everyone put their wow. guesses in? I yeah, I put mine. I said I said eighteen ninety five. Eighteen seventy five. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty two eighty three. Uh, I'm still high. I said twenty three dollars. Yeah. So I, I'm, 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 I did. I, I on the Price is Right, I would have won because I, yeah. I gave the, I gave the price oh, without right. going over. Yeah, but you're dressed price like a right, turnip, cool. right? Yeah, right. No, that's on. Let's <laughs> oh. make a deal. 
Oh, pick me? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I don't shop. Well. Yeah. See, I don't got. I don't have a bag. I forgot my bag, and she didn't even offer me a bag. Because I'm. Oh, what kind of car did you get? Like. That's not uh, a Volkswagen. He drives that diesel. Oh, it's an Elantra. It's my son's that my that oh. my parents are paying for, and I'm driving. All right. It's your son. He never. He never drives. He never drives. Oh. No, I drive it, and my parents are paying for it, and they don't know it. Okay, what year is it? He's driving. They what, do now. What it's, a, it's a 2017. 2017, yeah, because it doesn't have that new car smell anymore. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Farts <laughs> in here. I've been, dry, I've been in all afternoon. Disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Don't, too much Too much information. <laughs> I'll wave it. Okay, there we go. All right. Continue your conversation. Hey, well, uh, uh, something that I guess I, I can bring this up because we only have 20 minutes to go here, right? Oh, my God. This show's last. How do for- you feel? And, Phil, don't you answer this question. How do you guys feel about the fact that our country is now in a state of emergency? Oh, my God. Bullshit. Did he actually declare it today? He's, no. if they, he said if they pass the, the, the bill, he will sign it. But when he signs it... He will also declare a state of emergency. Maybe. Oh, my God. No, maybe. he didn't say maybe. According to Mitch no, he McConnell, he, he's not going to do it because he knows it's not going to be a freaking idiot. He's not even that. No, he's going to do Haven't it. We, he you know, we, look, uh, we, we've cheapened a lot of things in this world. You know, like uh, when we say uh, uh, movies, porn star. Now, that, that's cheapening the word star, isn't it? You know, definitely. Uh, and and when we call everybody a star who isn't a star, that's cheapening the word star. Is doesn't this cheapen the word emergency? True. Yeah. Phil. Oh, you told me not to say anything. Well, I, I thought I would now ask not. your opinion on this. Oh, uh, cheapening the word star, porn star. No, well. che- no, 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 no. Uh, that well, the Trump yeah cheapens the word porn star. Uh, no, that uh, that uh, um, uh, calling this an emergency cheapens the term emergency. Well, you know, there's a lot of other emergencies, and Trump seems to feel, and I I agree with him, that our southern border is porous. And after watching this uh, nothing to declare show. I oh God! Oh God! That we're not oh, doing God. a very good job of protecting our borders. The so Canadians, they're right on. Canada? Huh? Canada? Uh, Canada is where a lot of it, sh- most of it, yeah. shot. Yeah. And, that's and different mean. airports, and then the uh, New York City mail facility. Well, they won't let uh, you bring marijuana into Canada because theirs is much better, and they want you to buy theirs. Now, yeah, didn't they legalize it? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Moving. All over yeah. the whole country. Yeah. yeah, for so for I, uh, I guess these shows it's old news that uh, they're arresting people for marijuana. Smoke if you got them. I read there's a tremendous amount of drugs coming through the Canadian border. Uh, well, they, I think they catch them all. At least on this show they do. Yeah, on the show. <laughs> well, you want to talk about a porous border? Amazing Wait a minute, you want to talk about a porous border? I mean. The border between us and Canada is absolutely porous. There's so many areas where you can just drive right through. It's, uh, you know, without any uh, anybody uh, stopping you. When I was uh, when I was on the run from the law with Abby Hoffman years ago, he lived up in uh, uh, the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, up, yeah, I'm sure. Upstate, no, upstate New York, where the, uh, oh. the uh, St. Lawrence Seaway. Niagara right. Falls. And and he, we, I got we got in his boat one day, and he just zipped the boat up through a couple of things. He says, "Okay, here we are." He says, "See that shore over there? We're just in this little wooded area, and this stream that seemed to be going through the area." He said, "That that's the United States. See over here, this is Canada, and you could almost touch either side." And we went through, and we went up into Canada with his boat. Now, there was nobody stopping us. There was nobody checking. It was also before 9-11. No, you know, no, 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 no. They, they, was... they, believe me. You didn't even it, need a, a passport to go to Canada in those years. You know, if you had a driver's license. It was all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, is that you can get across that border. If you wanted to put drugs across the Canadian border, there's so many more places to do it. Uh, you could probably have a better chance of getting them in through the Mexican border. Uh, well, you know, just as good a yeah. chance of getting them through the Mexican border. So. Well, you know, if you go to Canada, they, they got one thing going for them that the Mexicans don't. 
uh, you go up uh, just a slight distance and you freeze. It's kind of like Siberia, you know. Uh, it's cold there, and uh, and and it's tundra. There's nothing, uh, you know. So you know, it's it's at least in Mexico in the U.S. Canada uh, U.S. Mexican border, it's warm. You know, you're not going to freeze to Hold death. Hold on. Uh, I need to tell you that most of the Mexican border is uninhabitable desert. Okay, just FYI. But it's and not cold. Die there. No, but yeah. heat can kill you as well. I mean, the just, reason... Just wanted, to, just wanted to add that. The reason or, I'd or like to see Mexicans to stop river. coming up here, people from South America stop coming up here, is because of the number of them that die on the trip. You know, just for their own safety. Um. Plus, I mean, who's going to do all the, who's going to stand outside at Home Depot and ask people to take them home to do the gardening? Well, is Phil, know, is, I, I guess there'll be a room for me to do that now. Yeah, radio personalities need jobs too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll work for commercial. Uh, yeah. yeah, they should have just a radio personality pickup section. You, you know, you know I, I, I had a computer. guys. I had this computer thing years ago, and you could type in. It was like, we'll work for food kind of sign. And I, I typed in there, uh, uh, we'll, we'll sell carpet for food, <laughs> and, so, and uh, printed it out. But I don't know what happened well, to the good. little uh, yeah. animator. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I just I don't, I think, declaring a national emergency. Do you think this thing's going to fly, or do you think it's going to? No, it's going to go straight to court. There's going to be somebody in the Ninth Circuit. That's going to uh, strike it down. Then it's going to yep. have to go to the uh, Supreme Court, and it will probably be upheld in the Supreme Court. But uh, it'll get delayed. Yeah. Well, but do you, do you really you think that we shouldn't? You know, we have to be a little more judicious. Uh, by the way, the fact that we've got Ray Renati traveling around has given us huge numbers out there. <laughs> really, this is true. <laughs> This is true. I, just, I could do this every how, how you, you jaw that? Pay me more cabinet bucks. You, you know, we could really be so talking weird. about political issues and so on. The numbers would go down, but here they're going up like crazy. People are going, "Hey, show us more oh, of you that." Know what uh, we could do? Well, we we want, could do it where I actually hand my wife what, a bag of flour. We oh, want so. we want more <laughs> dashboard. We want yeah, I want to be can how long, how far are you from home because we got 13 uh, more minutes. I'm here. I'm here. Oh I'm good. Here. I want you want to see you I'll give her the flour. I want to see you give her the flour. Yeah, we want I want to see you give her the door. Oh, shit. Ray. I'm dropping everything. Yeah, when you Christ. walk in the door, make sure you give her the flower first Sorry. and have your okay. video running. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear oh. you. Almost okay. 40 people no, watching. It, 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 oh, yeah, almost 40 people are watching at any one time. Yeah, they uh, all want to see her get the flower. And then they okay, here we go, folks. Ray Call your friends. Oh, tell I them to tune in. Ray, Ray, turn your camera the other way. Yeah. Turn it the other way, Ray. I just got a black screen on. Oh, well, yeah. he isn't inside yet. I don't think. Are you there. inside? My dongle got pulled out. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm almost there. It's just they didn't give me a bag, so I'm dropping everything. Okay. So I you had your floor. belt undone when you walked into Safeway, and now your dongle is hanging out. Yeah. You know? Your dongle is I hanging just out. Can't yeah. Keep my shit. Too. Okay. We're, we want to see what his wife says. Okay. When I'll, he... I'll leave the flowers hidden here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the, and the ice cream. Hey, dinner, d dear. I bought you flowers. Yeah. And I'll Here's a flower. flower singular. I'll ring the doorbell so she comes. And she hates being on like TV and shit like that too. Well, this isn't TV. Is great. She isn't on anything here. Okay. Valentine's Day. She needs to be on. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Little, here we go. Our little stunt. Here we go. How are the numbers? Okay. Hello. Okay. They've gone down, Hello, actually. Hello, my sweetie. What? Happy Valentine's. <laughs> Hello. Happy I, Valentine's. I got you a flower. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, no. You don't? No. It's all purpose, though. <laughs> and, and it won't wilt. <laughs> What? It won't wilt. It's supposed to be a joke. No, this is a flower I got you. Oh, I see. Okay. You don't uh, appreciate it? No, I was, I was trying to be clever. You better go get oh, the. You just gonna walk away like that? Not even a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You just stick it in the cabinet and walk to bat away from me? Oh, yeah. <sighs> 
You better go. You better go get the flowers fast. Yeah, there, shit. I'm, I'm up shit cream. creek. You better go get the flowers am, fast. Yeah, I am up shit creek. Hey, yeah. she's wearing a UC Theater T-shirt or a UC Theater sweatshirt. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, he's going back out again. Where'd you leave okay. the flowers? Here's some real flowers. And some chocolate ice cream. All right. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day from us here, too. What? They're all watching. Don't be embarrassed. Okay. So you guys maybe I found maybe I just found a new format person. for this show. Stunts. Okay. We what do you have people- on your shirt? Oh, uh, what, what did you say? She's Joel? wearing. She's wearing a. Your wife's wearing a UC Theater sweatshirt. Are you wearing a UC Theater sweatshirt? Yeah, that's oh, uh, David. Where did you David Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, what did we see? Oh, you went. Oh, I didn't go because I couldn't go. Okay. Isn't that a perfect moment for today with the yeah. with the uh, flowers and the chocolate? And the other flower as well. Which I, by the way, can uh, I ask Which you? one of those is you, Ray? 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 Uh, the, uh, no, none of them. No. Ray, can I ask you a question? What, what was yeah. more expensive now? The flower or the flowers? Uh, well, the flowers because I found this small bag of flour. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. I've been ordered to, to leave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You've been ordered uh, to leave? Yeah, I've been Well, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to eat. <laughs> oh, boy. I already ate. Oh, no. Oh, you already ate. Oh, it's fine, then. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. I, I have to go. All right. I, All hope, right. I hope that that was entertaining for you. Well, that was very it entertaining. Was. Yes. And we got a lot of right. audience watching that. People, uh, you know, but with this, this could be a new format for the show. Stunts, you know. Like that we send people yeah, out. We, we send that. people we... out, and you can go do just punk them like crazy. You know. Oh yeah, that would be fun. I would love it actually. Yeah, yeah. Who wants to go yeah. see my wife? What? <laughs> Who wants to see what? All right, I got. Uh, you really have one? Who wants to see your wife? Sure, let's see your wife. Is she there? Oh, boy. Wait a minute. We just lost okay. Scott, I think. All right. No, no. All he's right. uh, in a dark room, I think. No. He's in a dark room. And Ray Renati, we we just oh, got him. Sleeping. Don't worry. It's like he knows who you uh, are. Okay. And we, Ray, we've got your eraser head You didn't picture. do anything wrong. Oh, sorry. I thought it... it is, Scott. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know. I, I he was see. in bed sleeping. Oh, thank oh, you. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just listening. Okay. Turn on the camera, Ray. We're, we're, <laughs> we miss you. Ray? Uh, crazy Ray? Ray. Crazy Ray with that crazy Ray picture. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so so this was a good. Um, <laughs> don't do that to him. What, what's he doing? Is he? He's like, what? What, what are you wandering around trying to do? He trying to, <laughs> oh, oh, there she is arranging the flowers. Do you notice the, when you get when they get them, they always have to put them in a vase, and they always have to then <clears throat> rearrange them. Themselves. Hey Ray, did you tell her that those flowers are only rented, and you got to bring them back? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't that nice that we did that for Valentine's Day? We have almost 40 people watching at one time now. Almost 40. Yeah, yeah. This is, is that your son, Ray? Ray? Uh, he can't. I think he's. I don't he's, think uh, he's listening. No, I don't think he has his microphone. No, I. Oh, was that? I your, was listening. I was listening. I just. Was, was I just, that, was that uh, your son? in trouble. Was that your son? Was, I, yeah, that was my son. Oh, okay. The, the, they they don't like being videoed and they they're getting annoyed at me so I didn't want to talk. Well then they hey, know, then they know how we they know, they know how we this, feel. Oh here's our uh, fifteen thousand dollar bathroom. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There's my sink. <laughs> Your sink is it, does she have her yeah. own sink? There's her sink. Of uh, course she gets a large counter and I get. The prison oh, size. Uh, yeah, you get the prison. Of course. <laughs> but look at that toilet. Isn't that something? 
What do you yeah, mean? Isn't that like, something? It's a tank. Out of the wall. It, oh, it's, it's in the wall. Oh, I it's see. It's in the wall. Yeah, it's it's, it's not a uh, it's not a tank version. What? Oh, yeah, but now a how, many shower, the heads, oh, how many shower heads? Oh, shower heads do you have? Well, you got your shower head there. Yeah. And then you got your your muff sprayer right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 the muff sprayer. Yeah. It's the French style. Yeah. It's French. Oh. Yeah. But uh, that yeah. muff sprayer doesn't uh, give you enough force. <laughs> You gotta have uh, more Force direct. For what? But, you people, <laughs> you people, you people would just, Gross. you people would just die to know how it's bad forceful. my water pressure is in this apartment. Ours is really? good. Oh yeah. Ours is well, terrible because we're up on the eighth floor, and uh, the shower is terrible. When you got, you know, <laughs> you have to. It's a, it's a whole sensitive situation, but it's it's mm-hmm. a very weak water pressure up here. Well, I got the same water pick. <laughs> what? As Ray. I got the same water pick as Ray. You, which yeah, one right. do you I have the one that you don't have to have the tank. You just fill it with water and then you start brushing with it. Does yeah. it run out? Yeah, it runs out, but you know, I don't want why do you want to have to have a tank with water in it and then this whole thing that you know, here I put the whole thing in my mouth. I fill the tank up and then I put some Listerine in it, mm-hmm. uh one cap full of Listerine, and uh I get two or three mornings out of it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like it this way. I like ours. Yeah, haven't you seen the portable ones? Uh, yeah, I saw one uh, the other day at Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. I went looking for a new coffee maker, and uh, I hadn't found what I wanted yet. What do you want I, in a new coffee maker? I, I want a combination Keurig and something that makes regular coffee, and I want it to make hot coffee. Really? Uh, oh, I that wanna, looks. I that get looks the good, Ray. Up around one ten. That looks great, Ray. What yeah, is that? Now what, I'm hungry. What is that? It's 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 pa- looks like scallops and pasta and, and scallops. Is this the scallops and pasta and peas? Is that what this is? Yeah. Or is those potatoes? What are those? Oh, scallops. Scallops. Oh, this looks wow. Great. That, that looks great. Those little things. Marshmallows. The, no, the scallops. <laughs> no, no. There's some little the scallops. Ones. Where'd you get the, oh, the scallops? Little... What are the little scallops? No, those are probably uh, shark. Oh, those are the large now, is that warm or is it cold? I'm going to have to put this in the microwave a little bit. Huh? No, okay, then you got to warm it up. That yeah. dish in a microwave? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at him. He's having veggies. What's with you? I made <laughs> tons of veggies all the time. Yeah? There we go. Yeah. Aspergrass? Yep. Aspergrass. <laughs> Aspergrass. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Amazing, Burgers. just amazing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think this is uh, it's terrific. Ah, very uh, nice. Yeah. Let me see here. At least somebody has a life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody has no a life. Fair, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. Well, yeah. Yeah. My wife. I do yeah. most of the cooking in the house now. Yeah. 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 Not that she isn't a good cook. She's a great cook, but she she gets home and she's tired and everything. And, you know, I make some hamburgers. Another night I'll make something else, you know. uh, But uh, anyway. Not me. So anyway, now that we're under a state of emergency. Oh, my God. I thought that that happened. I thought that happened when, you know, we were attacked by aliens, you know, things like that. Or we had a nuclear Uh, or, 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 Or there's a hurricane. You know, or something like that. State of emergency, but for those areas. But, you know, state of emergency for the entire country. God, grab your asses, folks. We're being what's invaded. That, what's that thing that he pushes a button and he gets the news? Uh, that's um, that's a... Uh, Google that's Home. A, it's a, it's a, is that, oh, that's Google, Google Home? Home. Oh, okay, because I've got the, yeah. uh, the um, uh, Echo Show. No, huh. excuse me, I There's said... Mitch I, McConnell. I just said the word oh. and it's... Oh, jeez. <laughs> it started talking. Anyway, no, I have the, uh, the Echo Show. Uh, yeah, they didn't hear that. Uh, but, Echo uh, Show. Well, don't show that because then, well, then they'll Amazon. say that they'll say we're stealing stuff from uh, from uh, the networks CNN. and yeah, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank Donald Trump for being on our show tonight. I want to thank uh, Charlie Wallace for being on the show tonight. I want to thank Scott Boddicker 
Uh, Scott, you've been terrific tonight, by the way. You haven't been quiet. You've, you've joined in. You've been funny. And you've been when I drink, I'm funny. You, oh, yeah. <laughs> drink more. I don't care. And uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you. Phil Meyer, thank you. And, of course, Ray Renati, thank you. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. Uh, Robert Mueller, you wave goodbye, too, okay? Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Well, that's our uh, citizen panel for tonight. Let me hang up on them. So the next show, which is, of course, the intersection with J uh, Jack Bishop, can use the Skype lines. I'll be back again. There's no uh, Damien Chaplin tomorrow night again. I'm not here tomorrow night, but I'll be back again on Tuesday for more of the same. Uh, same time. Uh, and, uh, well, I should slow it down because I still got about 30 seconds to go. Uh, I'm taking the night off tomorrow night. I've got a dinner thing and... Uh, I never take nights off. Anyway, I'll see you on Tuesday right after Damian Chaplin if he comes back on uh, at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, do me a favor. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.